So this is my knight, Garrick Whitehands. I'm currently level 4. Seen any elves? <laughs> the Rune Street, Harrow Hand. She's very, a very funny gal. I just love this view. Who are you? I'm Duke's guard. Guard and champion of the Imperial Legion. He's a double guard. Duke's guard and a guard. I mean, no clipping here. Look at this. Wow, look at this. I can actually see the design of the level. Ah, I don't see. Seen any elves? <laughs> There's one over there. There's quite a few around, actually. I'm not giving up that easily. And you shouldn't. Come on, you can do much better. You can do better. Come on, come on. Hit me, hit me. Run or die. Am I good or what? Eh, not bad, not bad. I wonder if this uh, Imperial Silver Caress counts as a uniform. Ah, you're out of uniform. You should go home. Nothing good awaits you here. You chose the wrong Bosmer to mess with. Ah, oh, it's a wrong Bosmer I'm messing with. Nya, 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 nya. Torture chambers. Good job. You're the real hero. You're the real hero. Good job. Good job. Good job, everyone. Good job. Good job. Wrong way. Wrong way. Okay. One day we shall meet in duel. And I shall become the Legion. The Knight of the Imperial Legion. Our duel shall be legendary. But for sure I'm not gonna wear this stupid hat. How can I help you? Oh, look at this armor. I want this. I want this. So who do we invade next? Let's see. I'm thinking about invading... Oh, wait a minute, we already rule over everything. Pretty much nothing left to invade. Hmm. I'm gonna head to the... either Firewatch or Helnim to continue my uh, Imperial Legion questline. This is my current outfit. Why are the wrong you away way. from your post? Leave me alone. You know of Furious Matimus, the exiled Duke of Deshaun. There's a rumor going on that he's having a love affair with a Dunmer commoner. Oh no, what are we gonna do about that? Ririka Private Bank. I generally dislike banks, but let's see what can I do here. This is way out of my league, right here. Maybe when I get rich I can invest somewhere. Become a local tycoon. Marshmallow Tycoon. Alright, let's go find... You just keep standing here, huh? The Nine and the Empire, citizen. Enemies are nearby. Oh! Holy cow, what's that? What is that? Forsaken Shack. Holy... Oh! oh what a nice prehistoric scenery. Doesn't this look like something from like prehistory? Especially with the cliff racer that looks like a pterodactyl or however it's pronounced. Even this wildlife, these animals and creatures, they blend in so good. Like I'll feel bad to kill this allet. But I have to. Ah! Hi. Oh. Wait. Stand still. There you go. Are those bandits or friends? Is there a body on the floor? Holy cow. Oh, it's a... It's a Bosmer. 
you found the wrong password to mess with. Look at this. You. Let's absorb this atmosphere a little bit. Oh! Raise your demise! And raise your demise! You don't sound threatening at all! You're thinking nothing more than a bad memory! Are you sure? Are you sure? Here's your memory. Extravagant right gloves. I believe I may take those. Oh, I'm such a, I'm such a polite thief, a rogue. I just want to reach Helnim alive. Oh, scamp! Oh, oh, oh! Malagrun region. Men. This is not good at all. These guys are fast. I can't even reach him. I can't hit him. What is going on here? There's like all the freaks. All the freaks are in, are in the town. I have to use my superb strategic skill. Look at all these enemies here. Jump! Where am I going? Leave me alone, bro. Leave me alone, man. <gasps> Everybody, leave me alone. There are bugs. There's Daedra. There's the some crazy bandits. What's this place? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. Come on, there's wild guar. Come on, come on. Don't be locked. Don't be locked. Wow. Are you standing on a book? Why are you standing on a book? You want to be taller? She wants to be taller. Boots of the Savior's hide. Are you serious? Ooh, Imperial skirt. Yes, yes, yes. Calavian fur helm. It's red colored. I need it. I need that. I'm gonna use all my money, man, in this city. Now, off to make some memes. I should post this as a thumbnail to attract views and likes and subscriptions. If it's not one thing, it's another. Please subscribe to me. I'm wearing a Calavian... Uh, hat, but it's red. I need you to handle a swarm of cliff racers. Yes, I love swarms of cliff racers. Five of them. Five of them. I'm below the surface, yet I'm not you losing oxygen. That was a nice swim. Take a selfie. Be like this. A few months ago, my wife of 20 years passed away. We had been living in Helm since before our marriage, and everything here reminds me of her. Hey, you know, cheer up. We're all gonna die anyways, you know. He's not telling me where his ring is, so I cannot help him. In situations like this, oh, he's crying. Are you crying? I heard you, like, sniffing. Listen, I know, like, you know, it's hard, you lost your wife and everything, but would you please contribute to the cult so I can progress in ranks? Maybe get some rewards, you know? Nothing personal. We're, We're all, all going, going to, to die, die anyway. Come, come on. on. Oh, come on. This, no man. this dude just walked in front of me in the, the worst possible time. Your bidding, trooper. Hmm? What? 
By your actions, you have lost the trust of the Imperial Legion. Am I not a member of the Legion anymore? Expelled. Expelled because I picked a piece of paper from a table, a map of Tamriel. <laughs> I can't open the door because he's blocking it. Cure poison, cure... I have a cure paralyzation, here. Here. Your paralyzation, take it. Can I like shove it in his mouth? What is this about? Being hot today, huh? Fun lost see Maravel. What's this like for hobbits? And how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Morrowind, and thank you for joining me in the episode. I believe eight. This is the cursed map that got me expelled from the Imperial Legion in the last episode. Uh, I just. These guys keep losing it. What's wrong with you, buddy? You seem stressed. It's orc. Oh god, oh god, he's strong. Oh, he's strong. I don't know what to do. He's strong. I'm gonna try to paralyze him. Wooden Staff of Peace. Standar bless you. May I help you? Oh, is that scamp giving you some problem? I can get rid of him. Is that scamp like giving the issue? Is he staring at your guars? Scamp, I'm gonna s crush your skull into pieces. Oh, ah. I think next time you should find probably a bigger weapon. Yeah, not gonna work. You see this? I have a shield, I have a sword, I have an orcish armor, and you have, my friend, a dagger. Are you still trying? I'm giving you a chance to live. No? Scamp! Scamp is on the menu! Who's behind the- Oh, Slaughterhouse! Oh, oh, look at this Chad, Chad Atronach, Amulet of Shades, Summon a Bone Walker. <sighs> now you're gonna see it, now you're gonna get it. It's the full on massacre, full on massacre, come on, look at the size of the sword. I have adrenaline pumping in my veins right now. It's not gonna help you. And down you go. Ah. Oh, look at this. He's dual wielding a shield and a giant hammer. What's that? Holy cow. Ooh. Greetings, Outlander. I think what I've heard. The you hell is this? Oh, this place is awesome. Okay, okay, I s I like what I see. Please, by all means, I'm listening. Hey there, brother. Var Iron Grip. I'm... Seen any elves? <laughs> <laughs> oh my... <laughs> dungeon. Let's see what's in the dungeon. I am the dungeon what master. I love my job of a dungeon master. I have my... Tools? Torture. I'm a torturer. Look at this. Oh my god, he has a whole, like a, industry here, developed. I take pride in my methods. <laughs> Look at this armor. Look at this. Dirt, 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 everywhere, dirt. What say you? Do you want to help with the Brass and Maiden investigation? Yeah. Then I advise you to um, see the magistrate. His office is nearby. Here, let me write down the directions to you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, what kind of sword is that? Oh god, this armor is good. Top of beacon, one hour. Oh, 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 oh. Top of beacon, holy cow. Where is the top of beacon? War Saint's Fortress. Oh, now I feel like a paladin. My holy shield. These are all marines. How may I help you? We are small, sharp, and smart. We love wild creatures, wild beauty, and wildlife. We are not very polite. Oh, I know that. But we don't have to be, since we shoot straight and run like the wind. Welcome to Nivalis, Traveler. What can you tell me about Nivalis? Well, this is Nivalis. Well, I know that this is Nivalis, but what can you tell me about Nivalis? This is Nivalis, Traveler. And there she is, the Baron. Look at that hat. If a few words can help, I'd be happy to talk. I have no time to train civilians. You have to join the Imperial Legion if you want military training. I am a member of the Legion. Are you stupid or what? What do you mean you have to be a member of the Legion? I am a member of the Legion. Are you stupid? Oh, this horrible beast is attacking me. Oh no, what can I do now? Oh no, I'm trapped. Oh no. I'm in serious danger right now. This thing is killing me for real. What the hell? This is like some small boat. Oh. Okay. Need any help? <laughs> My friend, you look rather silly. I'm listening. Hey, hello friends. I'm here for Moon Sugar. Welcome to Helm Night. Are you here on business? Yes, the moon sugar business. Criminal scum. The blue plates are nice, but the brown ones seem to last longer. I have some books for sale. He's paying me zero gold. Give me at least like one. Give me one gold. I'm really having lots of issues with the Bosmer in this playthrough. Well, this about and you are not helping you see this axe it fits perfectly in here on this head right here oh what the hell oh now brother this now this is fighting and this is dying I'm just passing through I'm just passing through no okay Hey there, buddy. Are you happy to see me? I'll stay here and rest. Are you sure? Don't get stuck again because I'm not coming back. What if I just... Hmm, never mind. Well, no. I feel as though I should know you. Uh, you do know me. We already like talked like numerous times. I did like a countless quests for you already, you know me. Looking to travel? Nah, I'm just here to talk to you now. Just to see how you are. And how's it going everyone? Welcome back to uh, episode 10 of Morrowind Chill, where I play mostly Tamriel Rebuild, as well as uh, Vanilla Morrowind, in a very slow paced, almost boring way, and uh... I'll do what I can. Arfield, you're back! My friend, my friend, you're back in the city. I think it, I think it'll be cool if I had like a follower in Morrowind. And of course, they put sugar in the coffee. Luckily, it's not the moon sugar. If I worked out, I'd look that way too. Ah, uh, thank you. You think? Tower services. I would like some service here. Let's see what kind of services they offer. I would like some. Your service, He's up my service at the I tower services. Off to the meme land. Do you have something to say, Nord? Do I know you? Do I know you? I'm going deep and deep. Do I know you? Do I know you? What's wrong with everyone here? Do I know you? Do I know you? Cream cannot be free without the key. 
Wait, he's a cat wearing a cat fur. Are you wearing a cat fur? It's this Telvanni, right? They're forcing you to wear your own people's fur, skin, basically. It's a practical joke, right? Because they're cruel and sick and perverted and twisted. I'll let you live today. Yeah! Do, 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 do. And this is the melody. That's the eternal melody. Or to domesticate this clan fear and, and you just ride it in a battle. And name him Horny. Horny Pete. I don't care. Ah, my own personal company. Oh, where did I put that? Okay guys, I know we are on this mission to uh, Avenge your fallen adventurous knights and kill the sorcerers, but uh, I just got this message I have to like meditate and rest so I can level up and I believe it's in all everyone's interest that I level up Right, so let me just sit here for one hour. You're a little bit too close Hello there guys uh, You guys are okay? Yeah, all good? Are you guys coming? Can I help you? I'm just trying my... What's he doing here? No, I'm just trying my helm. That's all. You just gave me. What's this helm supposed to represent? Is this like an animal or like one of your ancestors, spirits? Like it's called Devil's Helm. So who's the devil? Dagat or is a devil? Is this supposed to be some Daedra? The pleasure is all mine. Oh, is it him? Oh, there he is. Look at you, sneaky bastard. Well, I kind of feel bad for... Never mind. You haven't heard anything. Let's go. Oh, we are quite a team, huh? Too bad I'm gonna have to... Uh, never mind. You haven't heard anything. Let's go. So this is the place, huh? Who's the orc? Uh, he's a friend of mine. <laughs> oh, I'm shamed. I'm ashamed. How's it going, everyone? I've just performed a quest for this gentleman. How do the regular people walk from town to town? But if you take it in context, like of like a regular people, regular NPCs, like they won't survive walking down to the next city. Oh. Okay, I enter Silent Hill. Okay, this is Silent Hill. Okay, this doesn't sound good, man. Oh, it looks hideous. Look at that face. Like a legit demon. Well, that's a cool lamp, dude. What's that? Uh? That's a very cool lantern you have there. The like Khajiit standing in a square in the middle of the night with a Colovian ha uh, helmet or helm or hat and holding like a green lantern. Rajasi. Has anything a student at the college might need? Firewatch College. I don't think I haven't been inside. Like somehow I missed this whole building. Oh, and now I can choose a course. Will you choose archaeological methods? Wait a minute, they removed 1,500 gold from my inventory without even asking me. Oh my god. It would be a pleasure to do business with you. You guys are a bunch of thieves. You should be called Thieves Guild. Look at the clan fear on the sun. You can see the silhouette. It's so cool. Oh there, brother. Maybe you can talk. Oh my god. Too bad I can't like uh, take their armor. I'll wear this just for fun. 
like this mask is used for of course for the protection but at the same time it has like some uh offensive abilities as well you can just sneak up behind someone on the knees and just stab them up what a nice couple like skyrim and they're owned by a uh, the kraken look at the size of that thing according to some really deep esoteric lore these creatures actually used to like rule in the previous kalpa that the droogs were actually like more evolved more intelligent i think it's based on like a indian vedic concept of uh, yugas time cycles and i think there's some connection with the Malak ball but i'm not sure and while I talk, there's another sea creature attacking me. Where did you come from? Where did you... <gasps> It's this... It's this... It's this creature that's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. This thing is still following me. I'm level 13 knight. Wearing a heavy armor and giant orcish battle axe. And I'm unironically about to battle a crab and the battle is kind of even i fear for my life look at the fear in my eyes oh crap here it comes he's look at that half of my health is gone look how fast this thing is oh nice view look at that doesn't this look like a, like a fairy tale like wow <laughs> i'm speechless man so i gotta clear out this Ooh, there's so many so my first question was like how did this archaeologist even reach this place like are they all like olympic level divers looking to unload some junk or score a deal funny phrasing you have there valvius kaguti what are you doing here? Is this too cold for you? Oh there, brother. You can still return to good ways. Nord fighting with a crossbow. That's just ridiculous. Look at this. Look what's been chasing me all this time. I've been fighting the hordes of the Daedra and the Daedra worshippers, but no. It's this little fellow here who decides no. I'm going to be the one who will take this knight out. In Black Marsh and South and Morrowind, where crocodiles stalk the swamps. Black Marsh also shares with the Imperial Province and the wetter parts of elsewhere the vile presence of Vera Lions. Those are cool, man. The seventh lycanthrope, which I have never seen, oh, it's about the shark. Tell me it's the shark. Is a were shark that roams the oceans around Tamriel. Like, sometimes I feel bad for looting these uh, tombs, but only sometimes. Ebony War X, my friends. My friends, look at this. Look, my new toy. Now you die. He was obviously a cook. He has a cooking knife, yeah, like he's useless in combat. Shall we absorb this atmosphere a little bit? And practice some restoration? While absorbing the power of Magnus. If you live in Elder Scrolls universe, what would you do? What would you practice? Like one of my first goals will be to master the restoration. Which I know is not easy. It takes lots of years of patience and training and talent. But man, restoration will be my number one. Chop, chop, slash, slash, chop. One foot on the table, one foot in the air. Good for the empire, good for all, eh, citizen? Oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. That's a Daedric shrine to Malekat, I believe. That's a statue of Malekat, right? The colors, the trees. Oh, this is so amazing. This is so amazing.
Look at the guar. The natural habitat. This is such a typical dumber thing to do. Just to put like skulls of your ancestors on, by the road for everyone to see and worship. Like what's making this sound? Is it an enchantment? Is it like magical nature? Is it mechanical? Is it like the, the wind? The flow of air through the holes? I think if you spend like 12 hours next to this thing, you'll just either go insane or reach some kind of enlightenment. Hello, Amu Silatatran. Yes? Mm -hmm. Who are you? I'm a Hlalu guard. Oh, you are a guard! I didn't know they're hiring such cute guards here. I'm just trying to sweet talk so I can find some evidence. May I help you? Hlalu sharpshooter guard. Man, you have the best job in the world. You just stand here. Well, if it bothers you so much, just don't look at it, alright? No, it doesn't bother me. I was just complimenting you. I mean, I'm just saying they have such a nice view. Look at this view, my friend. I envy you. Look at that. These Hlalu or sharpshooters have the best job in the world. Again, I have to say, they just stand there and have this magnificent look. And I'm sure they're paid good as well. Like, why we don't have architecture like this in real life? Imagine living in a world where, where this is like kind of like a normal architecture. Maybe, maybe I'm too naive like that, but... Uh, Excuse me, did you say something? Damn foreigners. This is episode 13, I believe. As you guys can see, this is a very relaxing uh, uh, playthrough. There's your... No, I don't think so. Hello. Are you smiling? You just pretend to be like grumpy and xenophobic, right? You're actually a kind-hearted soul behind it. That crusty surface of xenophobia. In any case, I love your hair, man. Do you know to open locks? No? Sweet skooma. Hey, what is this? You dress like that on purpose? Go f yourself. Eric the Rude? Oh, you're the Rude. Okay, then you're forgiven. Say something rude. Say something rude to me. I'm waiting. Say something rude. No? Say something rude. I thought so. Imagine using an ebony war axe on a Kwama forager. It's like you split it into atoms. Let me see what these two guys doing here. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Ah, <laughs> bandits pretending to be soldiers. We are soldiers of the Imperial Legion. The boss man, uh, I mean the commander, ordered us to collect the toll here, you see. Our commander's name is uh, Tiberius. Yes, Commander Tiberius. A good name for a Legion commander, eh? <laughs> Look, boys, it's obvious that you're lying. You're just bandits. Marcillion looks scared and nervous. Uh, okay, you can go. We don't want no trouble. Apologies for calling you scum, sir. You know, just get some job, you know. Go become a miner, you know, there's a mine around here. Anything really, just not this. A moment of your time, if you please. Come closer so we can discuss business. Uh, okay. He seems like a nice guy, like, what's your background? I'm an honest rope salesman. This was one of the strangest encounters ever in Morrowind. 
Okay, those two cliff racers are somewhat more intelligent than these two. I greet you as a friend. That's a cool shirt. Look at that. Like, I would love to wear this shirt. And like, for example, wear a saber or something. And like a roleplay, uh, let's say... How you call it? It's like swashbucklers. Unarmored swashbuckler. Although I think these boots don't match your shirt outfit, you know? Sorry to say that. Okay, bye-bye. Just west over the walls. Late at night. Perhaps the Nord should go for a swim. That was my cheap impression of a Khajiit. Do we have business to attend to? What are you doing? Are you carrying a shovel? Salute! Welcome! Please, say your piece. I like it. Bold and direct. I came here for like something else and now I'm suddenly, a few seconds later, I became a owner so, of a mine. Rokar says, bend over and kiss your old mother goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. And I am the knight. Errant. The knight errant. How's it going everyone and welcome back to the episode 14 of Morrowind Chill. Hi there buddy. What you doing here? Guys, look at this view. All gone. All of this is gone. But we will always have this game. You know, it's never going to be gone here. It's always going to be present. I've, I've been thinking a little bit about the Morrowind and like each Elder Scrolls actually in general. Every game is sort of like frozen in time and only your your character, the protagonist, it's actually outside of this frozen moment. And this is what makes you special, whether you're a Nerevarine or a Dragonborn, or the champion of Cyrodiil. Like, if you think about it, all these NPCs standing around, I mean, that's kind of very meta. Like, I'm not really a fan of meta theories and all this stuff, but I mean, not literally frozen, right? The water is flowing, people still kind of walk around, things occasionally happen, but for the most part, everyone is standing, everyone is like, in this moment of what they were doing at that moment, they're kind of stuck there. The traders are standing behind the, the desk. <clears throat> the guards are standing there, staring at the distance. Nothing will ever change. You can sit here for a whole year and nothing will change. All gonna be the same. Coming through. May I help? I need to pass through, bro. Please let me through. I know you're a guardian of this little arch. I just need to pass through, come on. Oh my god, that feels good. I want a splash sound. Come on, splash, splash. Would you like a massage, Matsera? Massage? The land that time forgot. Look at this place, man. Looks like a party cave. Look, I brought my Colovian helm. Come on, come on, guys. Ooh. This is too easy. This is too easy. <laughs> come on. Lorman the drunk. It'll be your blood here, I don't want No, I don't want to fight, man. You what are you guys doing in underwear, anyways? What are you guys doing here? Stop it. Knock it off, man. Knock it off. What do you have here? I Give in. You're dead already. Listen. I just killed this two Dunmer who had weapons. You will die where you stand. You don't have any weapon. You really think you can do anything. I think you're drunk. I'm giving you a chance to live. Ah, you know what? Never mind. One of us will die here. Now you're gonna get it. It won't be me. Oh. Oh. It's a Colovian Tiger Helm! <clears throat> Fuck yes, man. My collection is growing. This calls for another homebrew coffee. The memes I'm gonna be making with this Colovian Tiger Helm will be legendary. This is crazy. Ooh. Do 
Do you wish to crawl through this space? No. The Viper Blade Gang, keep out. No, no. No, no. No, no. no. What the hell is that? This is crazy. There's a presence of evil here, that's for sure. I can sense it. Ooh. Scared? I think you should find some better armor, man. Come on. You're Imperial. Just wear some Imperial armor, like... You wearing this chitin or kitten, chitin, how it's called? Do you have weapon? Oh, you do, huh? I sense undead. How about you? No? Oh, it's a shrine to Malakat. Oh boy, this is the mine I'm gonna own. This is the mine. The big ass giant statue of Malakat in the middle of it. Ooh. Hey, this dude. Oh, he's a cattle. What are you doing here? What can I do for you? Do you like being a cattle? You can run, you're free. You're free. Let me just practice my speechcraft. I wanna get to 50. Hang on, guys. Oh, never mind. There you go. Hello. I bring your ransom money. This is my Colobian helm collection so far. Hello guys and welcome back. I'm continuing my Morwin playthrough. Oh brother. Kyodr. Hey brother. Too much mead? How can I help a brother Nord? You can tell a lot about an inn or a tavern just by its name. If the place is called something dodgy like the Red Skylamp Corner Club or the Headless Helmsman, you might not want to go in. But why, Brother Nord? Now, a classy name like the Golden Moons Club. On the other hand, that's the kind of place you know is bound to be great. You don't speak like a true Nord. I think this place corrupted you. True Nord will go to the Red Corner Club. Auja Troll Tongue Travel Lantern. Can I wear a travel lantern on me? Holy cow, what? A cave troll. Begun. I it? greet you as a friend. Like, you know, sometimes you don't know if they wear like a helmet, a mask, or it's their real face. No offense. Isn't there someone else you can talk to? I don't like you. I don't want to talk to you. So, Can't you see I wish to be left alone? Dude, oh, I so badly want to split his skull open. Spit it out or hit the road. Yeah? You outlanders tread sacred ground. You defile it with your presence. Do you even know why I'm here? Do you know that you're defiling the sacred caverns of Kushukur? Yes, this place is an ancient holy site to my people, the Ishanuran. Kill me if you must, but I'm not leaving. This place is sacred to the Isha Nuram. Um. Here. Oh, that's a cool shirt, my bro. Sounds like Khajiit. This is a Khajiit. Friend. Ah. So these are supposedly some other forms of Khajiit. They look very human-like, right? And look how tiny they are. They're so cute. What are you doing here? What can I do for you? Go free. <laughs> are you a slave? Oh, he's also a slave. They're really cute. Friend. Hey. I want to buy a slave? Yes! Greetings, Outlander. Are you here to buy a slave? 
See something you like? Yes, I do. I'll help him and I'll, I'm gonna set this to free. Yes, Kesura is free. You're a good friend of Kesura. Okay, you need some shoes, my friend. Much better. Now you look like a free citizen. You have something to protect yourself. I'm even gonna give you some gold. I think 100 gold. 100 gold. A weapon and good clothes. Good quality clothes. Dude, this is some serious questing here. <laughs> I can't believe I have my own little companion. It's actually a rare uh, type of Khajiit. It looks like human. My friend, do you see any fire ferns here? No? Use your Khajiit eyes. Okay, so this is the border actually. Hireling of House Lalu, what can I do for you? Well, listen, my friend, Jesh Sukur. This is the far south as we can go. I'm gonna leave you here. You are free individual. You have good clothes. You have weapon. You have some gold I gave you. Okay. All right. Don't I know you from somewhere? You know, Lalu want this guy dead. May you find all that you seek, traveler. Why don't you follow me? Come on, I'll take you to the safety. This way. We can go to Menon together, huh? Come on. I promise I'm not gonna kill you. Come on. Those Halalu like uh, nobles, they want you dead. So I think you'll be, you'll be safer with me instead. You never know who can they send next to kill you. So maybe we should just go together to this red run outpost that you've been dealing with secretly behind our back oh my friend you had nothing to worry about my boy you killed both of them uh, not again all good all good oh that looks like a nice place that over there looks like a nice place do you agree look at that this looks like a nice place. Look at these trees. I think I'm gonna murder you right here. Is that okay? <laughs> nice final spot, final resting spot for you. What do you say? Please, just let me go, okay? I wish I could. Okay, draw your weapons. Alright. This was the saga of Ilvis Clary. Oh. We are going to expand the mine here. You should stand back. We are about to break through a wall of rocks. Okay, I'll stand back. Jesus. This guy survived? Where is my brother Nord? He's... Oh, he survived. How did you survive this? What the hell is this supposed to be? Oh, please, gods. Don't let him start in on that solemn duty crap again. The guards seem a little bit stressed out. Oh, yeah, there we go. So this is the sunrise over Andotren. I think it's kind of obvious that these are my favorite moments in Morrowind. <laughs> Ancient Dagged Brandy. Well, here. Uh, looks the same like a uh, Flynn. And these are my most prized possessions. They all have little backstories and personalities. But Trier is like the... You're on your honor. Don't press your luck. Okay, okay. He kind of mostly stands out. Oh, oh. I've been punched by Vlava. Ah, my acrobatics are too <clears throat> too low. I can't jump. Damn lava. Oh, 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 oh. Hey there, my friend. It's just a crown. Not so important. Okay, 
Stay here. Don't move. So they're shutting down the mine. We are all out of work, but thanks to you, we're still alive. That counts for something. Eight years ago, as I've told you, I killed a man. Sometimes I wonder what sort of a man I would be today, had I not killed him. I don't know. I truly don't. It changed me so much, I can't imagine what my life would be had I not done that. So now you know the whole story. I'm a murderer. You know what? I'm gonna take you out of here. Hey there, Terir. Let's get you some clothes. Oh. Oh. You do not please us. Please don't hurt me. What do they feed you? You are one big kitty cat. The ancient Kajid heard the great roar of Alkosh the Great, Cat King of Time, known also as Akatosh in the Empire and Alduin in Skyrim, and raced to his voice. Using the roar that Lord Khajirk has given him, he spoke to Maser and Sekunda to move to their fullness in the sky. Now, be a good cub and go fetch me some more moon sugar for these sweet cakes. You bought one? You're already corrupted! I need to kill you! Ah! Nah, I'm just kidding. Who sold it to you? And may I have yours? I bought a statue from Sirtiel, a Bosmer. Who else but Bosmer? Look at this sword. Don't worry, I'm not gonna steal it. So where did you get your supplies from? I bought my stock from the pride of Nerusia's shipmaster. I want to talk to you about the Dark Idols. As long as there's a market for these statues, I'm going to continue to supply them. Who else but Bosmer? Okay, let's cross the bridge like a civilized person would. And I guess I'll end up, <laughs> end up swimming. Oh, it's a Nord sister here. Are you okay? Look at the sword! Look at my sword! What do you think about my sword? This is but a scratch! Join me! Together! We can perform many quests! She's pretty confident in her skills! Ooh! It's a Nyx mother! Look at the size of that! She's so big she's stuck! And now he follows me, right? Look how he's jumping! He's jumping like a Bambi! Based on the width of his lettering and the average spacing between letters, while tracing his esti estimate route through known areas existing in his lifetime, I'd say he was headed to Teknila Shashulpi. It's east of here in the Sundered Scar. Big Daedric Shrine. Lots of angry cultists. Good luck. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Ooh. Uh, am I interrupting something? Slowly leave you two alone? Oh my god. Bureaucracy. As the treasury minister, it's my responsibility to make sure that the same thing doesn't happen here. You are the treasury minister, a bosmer. No wonder the empire is collapsing, man. Seen any elves? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You're, you're cracking me up. I haven't heard that in a long time. Seen any elves? <laughs> <laughs> Join the legion, they say. See the world, they say. I do have an amulet, right? A ring of opening locks. Open 10 to 50 points on touch. Ah, it's unlocked. Now let's plunder. And kill everything. Ah, oh, God. Wow, it doesn't want to open. Oh my god. The cliff racer is frozen in time. Look at this. This is the biggest Daedric Ruin I've seen yet. Ever. What madness lies inside. I'm a Nord, you fool. 
I eat frost for breakfast. She's not that bad. I mean, she kind of cursed the whole race. But she's not that bad. Ugh, she's so big, I can't even take a selfie. Oh, oh, no. Mommy, Azura, and me. Now you're going to get it. Now yeah, you're gonna get it. Die, Daedric scum. And you just know this is a cursed items, right? You guys know that. Okay, one of these is going to be cursed. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. <gasps> Three! Mm. Ah, three Dramoras. Guys, look at this place. Look at this place. Look at this. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Morrowind. This is episode 18. Wow, look at this place. Look at this place, guys. For the living, we weep. This is so black metal. Norwegian atmospheric black metal. Ooh, there's this. I call them Dwemer bouncers. Look how stuck I got. I feel like Super Mario now. Oh. Oh, guys, look at that. These fools are fighting again. What you're made of. I'll make this quick. Let's see my ex. Where's my ex? The unending. It's called unending. Look at this beauty. Oh my god. You get that easily. Well met, friend. Hey. Hmm. Hmm. So he really was with Argonian. Yikes. Her eyes were the, her best feature. <laughs> I'm sorry, man, but she's a lizard, dude. They were like great crystal lakes in summer. First emerald, then sapphire. I will never forget her. It's crazy, man. It didn't crash this time. Yes, yes. This quest drained my soul, man. I successfully proved General Cassie's innocence. I'm to visit Raw Deer, sir. Out of pure curiosity, what is the name of the manor lord there? Oh my god. Knight Errant, I've completed my previous orders, but there's something I wanted to ask you about the next one. I seem to have a problem. Should I bring my winter coat or my legion skirt when I visit the dress? You're out of uniform. Talk to me when you're serious. So, should I bring my winter coat or my legion skirt when I visit the dress? What kind of question is that? This is the best thing ever, man. This is next patient. Ah, it's good to be a higher up. Can you help me with something? My orders for today are rather hard to figure out. Aww, poor baby. See, I'm being sent to Hla'od. I'm not sure if it's in Hlalu or Indoril territory. Let's see. Indoril, that's what the Hla means at the start of the name. <laughs> this is my day. I get to arrest or kill a Telvanni wizard? Are you serious? It's like... It's like a birthday, man. <sighs> Feels so good. I see a naked Nord there. That's a naked Nord, right? Oh, it's not. Look naked from afar. Oh, what the hell is that? Seducer? Seduce me, please. Wow. Hopefully we'll counter more of those. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, look at this. 
Uh, arresting is an option, of course. It is an option, but I prefer option to just kill the. If it's Talvani, just kill it. Look at these guards. All oh, you guys are undercover, huh? Cool robes. Knight Errant, we were told to arrest a saboteur. At your command, Knight Errant, what shall we do? Just stay here. You do not have your hospitality papers. You need them to move freely in the city and enjoy its services. I'll let you go this time, but please hurry to the avenue and buy them from Alassi and Durin. I don't need any hospitality papers, bro. I'm the law here. I'm the law, you fucking piece of shit. Now, where is this damn wizard? If I have to, I'll murder... I'll murder... I'll literally murder everyone if I have to. Do you have a question for me? I want you to come with me. In that case, you should die. What was that? Do you say something? I couldn't hear you. Can you repeat that? What? I'm sorry, you're gonna have to speak louder than that. I really cannot hear you, you Talvani smug, you, you Talvani fuck. I don't know you, what do you want? Do you want to know me? Do you want to know me? He is a hard man, alright. After all this time, General Kasik was actually innocent of the accusation. Oh, really? Do you feel bad now? If only we had compared our stories 30 years ago, right? If you only did that, I doomed a good man to decades of pain and torment. Yeah, so what should you do now? You should resign, I think. Maybe I should replace you. What do you think about that? Hello everyone, how's it going? This is the Morrowind Chill episode 19. Take a quick look here. Oh, look at that. There's a cliff racer. There's always some cliff racer in Helm, But they kind of get stuck in the towers and <laughs> they just bug the game. Sucks being you. Tromil Rufus is the commander of the Dustmoth Legion. Can someone just take me to Rufus? Find Rufus. It's like in every episode I had to get stuck somewhere. <laughs> How can you find? How can you find this guy, Rufus? Where is he? Where's Rufus, man? Where's Rufus, bro? Oh my God, I'm going insane. You? Hey, old friend. Hey, old friend. You are the commander of the garrison. You? I'm surprised. Can you find armor for you to suit you? Bosmer. Be careful not to drown yourself here, you know, this is a big bathtub. This is why Empire is collapsing. This is why everything is falling apart. And you, look at you, you just stand there. You're here, good. Time for you to prove your valor. Okay, let's actually see how you, how tough you are. No, 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 no. I'm gonna deal with the cultist. What? Come on, man. He's supposed to be, like, tough. Oh, it's a cat. <gasps> it's one of those cute, cute ones. But no. Come on. I... I... Dude, you fell, like, in three seconds. I thought you were supposed to be tough. The famous Red Templar. My ass. Look at all these cliff races. What is going on? That's a Daedric female armor. Oh, I'm not taking her heart out. That's nasty, man. Come on, man. Don't do that. Ah. <laughs> Three Stooges. Really? Really? Embrace your demise. How the hell do you go there? How will I embrace my demise if I can't even go there? Can I embrace my demise from here? So what was happening here? There's a metal bucket under this... Oh, it's... Head. Oh... Look at this! This evil bastard. This guy got the dagger right through the eye. Oh my god. Right through the nose. <laughs> and then they're using a quality disease resistance. So after eating human flesh, they will use the potion of disease resistance. Hey, bro. Learn to swim? How's it going down there, huh? All good? 
Do I have something to torture him with? <laughs> Does it hurt? I hope it hurts. Let's see what it does. Oh, look at this. I have a nice hellfire for you. Oh, that, that was a good one. Let's summon a golden saint. Round one. Fight. He doesn't want to fight. Good job. Seducer. Hello there. I come in peace. I would like to talk to you about the Daedric Realms and Oblivion and how does it feel to be a seducer? I would like to talk about lore. I would like to talk about different things, but no, you don't want to talk. Like, they're supposed to be scary and everything, but they look goofy to me. Orgrim Smash. Why is he not opening? Thank you, God, man. The light, potion of light, and have a ring of light. But what does it do? Like, what's the point of casting a light on someone? Oh, he wants me to kill Darnell. When you're done, I'll have a promotion and a 5,000 gold for you. <laughs> so you want to bribe me with a promotion and 5,000 gold? I think our friend Rufus belongs here. Which is crazy. Imagine a whole Tamriel rebuilt in this style. No. I want to talk. I come in peace. No. Hello everyone, welcome to episode 20 of the Morrowind Chill series. I've been collecting skulls for some reason. There's a Khajiit, Orc, and I guess this is Human Skull. But I wonder why is the Human Skull so much larger than Orc Skull. I believe Orcs should have like a large skull as well. It doesn't actually look like an Orc Skull. It's not that I know how the Orc Skull should look like, but uh, I have also some other skulls here. Oh, this is also Orc Skull. Okay, so this is the Orc Skull which looks like orc skull. I guess like a half of the orc skull. Uh, I have also a vampire skull. Look at that. Look at the teeth. Small vampire skull. And this is a Khajiit skull. Uh, this is Argonian skull. Oh, I have Argonian skull. Oh, yes. There it is. Argonian skull. 14 cure common disease. What's wrong with me? <sighs> I have a feeling you and I are about to become very close. Oh, really? They didn't put any fence or nothing like... I mean, if you fall, you fall, huh? I guess. That's about it. A couple of weeks ago, I was hired by a noble woman in Akamora. Why? May I continue? Yes, please do. Continue. So, I drew my battle axe and decapitated him. <laughs> continue. 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 Brother, I was only joking. He's not really a vampire. Kill the beast. Oh no. Crap. I blew it, right? Stop fighting, stop fighting. Hey there, buddy. You're mine. No, you're mine instead. You're mine, bro. I have the higher ground. As I said, you are to find out what happened to Hosgub Gro Hazo. Watch your language with me. No, no, I don't want to hear as I said. You're not gonna talk, sir. How are you today? Do you want a coffee? Would you like some tea? You're not gonna tell me as I said. <coughs> what a guy, look at him. Just standing there in a common shirt, doing nothing, ordering around. As I said, the shrine isn't too far from here, but with a pathless and impassable terrain around here, it is one of the harder pilgrimages, even without the contribution of local racketeers. Oh my god. Let me try to give some directions. Take the south Take road the south out, road of, Akamora. out of, Akamora. of Akamora. Not taking any The flicks. road will turn if you see the seal strider by the teeth, you've gone the wrong the way. Teeth. Too long, Once road, you left rock, a second set of teeth behind you. Stalagmites under them. The road the turns left. left. You'll see why they're called this but way. But you keep going straight west. southwards. Keep going until past you get a chance Udasha. to turn west. Udasha. When you reach the lake, turn left and climb the hill. Then go east. Then go east. Then go east. Man. You should end up in an isolate whale with some pud puddles. Puddles. Not poodles. Puddles. Oh. Okay, I know you have a quest for me, but I promise I'll be back later, okay? I promise. I'm not gonna forget you. You just keep standing here on the rain. Let me smooth up this Argonian butter up. He scales. 
Let me hone his horns. Let me shine his claws. Lejara will not. Oh, we had a feisty one. What do you expect to do? Just, just give up. Hey, Ramirez. Ramirez. Hey, hey, hey. Are you confused? Are you stressed? You don't want to talk to me? You seriously have some issues, right? Are you angry? Are you upset? Because I I didn't want to set those slaves free? Is that why? You want to ignore me now? Oh, now you don't know me. Like You act like you don't know me. Hello everyone and welcome back to the episode 21 of Morrowind Chill. It would be wise to stay indoors, Outlander. Oh, because the rain? Ah, it's fine. I'm... <coughs> Hey, oh, oh. Uh, you should seek a healer. Oh, this is such a nice shot. Necrom, the city of dead, the city of ghosts. These are indeed powerful spirits, but they are untrustworthy and unworthy of worship. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's worshipping Daedra, you know. <laughs> oh, actually, he's worshipping the tribunal. Even worse. <laughs> to each its own. <clears throat> Sister Olmo uses the early hours before dawn for personal contemplation. Mm, I see. Usually leaves the monastery at 4 in the morning to visit a shrine. Ah, interesting. <laughs> I should follow her if this opens a chance to kill her without any witnesses. <laughs> she can only leave through here. Am I too obvious standing here? <laughs> what if I duck like this? Is it less obvious or more obvious? I am the knight. I am the revenge. I am the shadow. Standing here like so obvious, man. <laughs> mm. <gasps> there she is. There she is, guys. Do -do 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 -do. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. <laughs> and now you're mine. One with the knight. One with the shadows. There you go. Just keep going. Easy there, boy. Easy there. Hi there, sir. Hello. There you go. She's mumbling something. The famous last words. Cool. You haven't seen anything, huh? I'll feed you some bone meal if you... If you stay quiet. What the hell is going on here? I'm not busy now. What do you need? Really? You're not busy, huh? My trade? You could say I trade companionship for coin, if that's what you mean. So he's a male prostitute. He's a gigolo. Oh my god. <sighs> I regret coming here. Knight errant, how may I serve you? Wow, look at that. Big fan, big fan of Transformers that oh what is that there i really want to see what's that fort oh yeah holy cow first i want to admire the view hey guar oh you're a disease cure comma disease victim My headcanon is that he is cured. Look at the guar. It looks so cool to watch them like in the wilderness. It's like a National Geographic documentary. Too bad we cannot see like baby guars following mama guar. Oh my god. Whoever designed this region here, this landscape, give him guys some award. Na 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 na. I am water walking. Na 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 na. I missed this in Skyrim. Oh wow, what happened there? Hey, 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 easy, easy there. Hey, man. This fucker scared me, man. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Morrowind Chill. This is episode 22, I believe. I acquired a Royal Silver Imperial Sword. What a beauty. Amazing to me. <laughs> I don't like you, man. I just want to... Yo, don't bother me! Oh no! I ask again. Liberigo's Ledger. What? Kajit knows nothing of such book. I know you have it. Kajit has no idea what you're talking about. Leave poor Rizbanji. 
Ooh. Greetings. You're gonna give me the fucking book right now. So Gajavar will allow you to enter. Be warned that if the Nord bothers Gajavar master, Gajavar will no longer be so kind to the Nord. <clears throat> Outlander? I hope you won't take too much of my time. Oh, shut up. I still serve as a counselor of Great House Inderil, but I will retire as soon as my house does not need me anymore. Oh, trust me, very soon. Very soon. All of you won't be needed anymore. I'm looking for a banana... banana man. Where's the What's banana man? Up? The walking banana sticks. Here they are. Greetings. What exactly do you require of me? Required to chop your head off for looking for you for half an hour. How did you get in here? Does that cat Gajavar have any standards at all? Oh, shut the fuck up. The mine is located in the sacred lands east of Tomaril Manor. The road between Silen and Hlersis runs east of the mine. If you reach it, you've gone too far. Give this book along with these instructions to the miner named Miros. That's all you have to do. You think you can remember all of that? <laughs> now get going. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. This is literally a hell. What exactly do you require of me? I'm gonna transport from this hell before I go crazy from all of you. Huh? Did you hear that? What is it? A noise! It's coming from downstairs! Oh, my friend Circus is... Rest in peace. <laughs> I heard... Hoo! That's Imperial death sound. Wow, they killed both of them. Oh, my man Circus is dead. My brother. I barely know you, but let me take this gold off your... Chest. A Breton. A slave. I suppose I have a moment. Shut what up. Maragton Guildhall. She just joined him. <laughs> Join the assassins. Oh. There's a spell to be learned, but you're too stupid to decipher it. Okay. Ah. I see them. Look at that spider. Look at the size of that spider. Oh god, they look very nasty. Oh god. Oh, look at the size of this beast. Since I had to kill a vampire and there's a vampire killer in this inn, I'm pretty sure he's the one I need to talk to. Let me ask the Nord vampire hunter if he wants to join me. My brother Nord, I have a vampire to slay. If you have any problems with vampires, speak to me. For long I have suspected that the manor district of that accursed ruin will be their lair. You're heading there, good for you. Perhaps we will share a few slaying tales if you return. Wait, what? Perhaps we will share a few slaying tales if you return. You're not coming with me? I am Aphid the Seeker. I hail from Skyrim, but I have come to Morrowind to seek and slay vampires. I literally found a vampire and he doesn't want to come with me. Die! Oh, that fucking scared me, man. Where are you? Rock! Oh, they're so fast. Ah, uh, she didn't have time to put the pants on. I noticed many of these Dunmer lady vampires, they don't wear pants. Are they trying to seduce, to confuse the vampire hunters? Guys, I really, really feel like we're getting close. Oh, it feels good slaying vampires, but come on, I need to find the master vampire already. Forsaken Manor, please be here. The main vampire is gonna be here. We found our man, a Kavoriuk. And you guys just keep standing here doing I like nothing. What I see. Yes, you do. Hello everyone and welcome back. It is time for another episode of Morrowind Chill. That's the statue, look at it. Yeah, look at that. The brave scamp. He's really brave. There she is. This place is huge. This is not your ordinary Daedric shrine. Like This is a major underground facility for human sacrifice. God knows what else. I bet this is the woman we're looking for. What? What the hell is going on? 
I am poisoned. I am drain attributed. I am burdened. I am blinded. This requires more coffee. What the hell is going on? Oh, there's a view, view, view. Fuck, man, already. Boy, boy, boy. Oh, boy. Pretty, pretty angry right now. I, I could say I'm pretty angry. Summon a scamp to confuse them. You fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. All of you bitch. You're all bitch. All bitch. That's what you are. You fucking bitch. Our precious Sural is dead, and you are the one to blame. Oh, really? Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy for that. I'm so happy to kill all of you. And you too. Come here. All of you. You too. Oh, you? Really? Degenerates, all of you. We are back in a good timeline, boys. Yes, Outlander. What may I do for She's you? She's happy. She's smiling. She's like... Hey, how's it going, neighbor? You found our Sural? She's alright? Oh, what marvelous news. The vast ocean of nothingness. How long will it take me to walk from here all the way to Nivalis? I think I should do that once. Look at the size of this tree. Holy cow. Oh yeah. So cool. Hello and welcome back. This is the episode 24 of Morrow and Chill. Ah, look at this. Like a true adventurer. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, this guy is strong. This guy is strong. Crap. I'm coughing. I'm dying. I'm battling a skeleton who's killing me. My night eye is expired. It's dark. I'm scared. I'm cold. I can't try to chill. So come on. This guy is huge. This is a huge skeleton. Plague bearer, the skeleton warlord. Warlord? Hey. We're going deeper and deeper into this. Oh. This is Almalexia, I think. She doesn't have a face, though. Almalexia, say praise, be praised. Come on. Come on. Die, you bastard. What the hell? <gasps> Look all these stats. Look all this. This is why I was missing. What the hell is this? Cool. <laughs> we are both plagued and diseased. There was one Imperial fort where the chapel was locked for some reason. Shrine. Nobody, nobody around? Can I open this? What the hell is going on here? Hello? Citizen. What the hell? Look at this place! Well, where did I put that? I can even activate the shrine to pray. There are no blessings. This guy is so sinful. This place is so sinful. Even the shrine is like worthless. Um, CV restoration. Praise be the um, CV. I really didn't expect this. I was coming from that area between the between the hills, and I suddenly saw this opening with a river. It's like a river valley, and it just blew my mind. Wow. Marilag. Okay. What a pleasant little town.
we are continuing our free roam session. Oh, it's my friend, Arfil. Hey man, how's it been going? Greetings and salutation. Remember when you, st you stood for a whole week paralyzed in the Daedric Ruin until I returned to save you? Yeah? Those are good days. Maybe I can take him as my follower for a while. Why not have a follower, you know? Spice up the playthrough a little bit. Oh. Help. Help me, Arfil, help me. You can do it, my friend. That over there, see that over there? That's a seducer. Hello. We come in peace, my friend and I. We would like to talk to you. Help. Help me, Alfred. Help me. No. You didn't learn how to heal yourself. He has a common ring. <laughs> I think every boss mirror in the game has a common ring. They love rings. Oh my god. <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> He's enslaved. What happened to you, bro? Ask master. I was looking for you, Nimbelor. What you doing here? Okay. Go free. I was planning to kill him afterwards, but he said he will honor the divines, so I'll spare him. Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm here in the chapel of Kinneret and this is of course you the episode share your time with 25 me. You humble me. of Morrowind Chill. Watch out man, don't fall. A lot more refined than most tourists I've met. <laughs> I like that. Do I look like a tourist to you? Dondolin shouldn't be outside entertaining people in the square, jumping around, dancing. Je ne belois. I'm such a lavishing Breton. I like talking to savants, like they have all these cool answers. Follow me. Make a savant follow me and just talk to me like through my journeys. Every time I feel bored, just ask me about something. It's like you have a walking lore encyclopedia. Lyriel? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait. Interesting. Wait, wait, wait. Go on. This is a Bosmer. Did I shrunk or is she like large? Are you a giant Bosmer girl? How are you so tall? <laughs> this is how Bosmer are. How may I help you? Usually. And then there's that. I have an unusually petite figure. It requires exact tailoring to get clothes. She wants me to pay for her dress. Because of her very unusually petite figure. Let's see. You know what? She she really does have like a very petite, like a narrow figure. Are you in awe? Guardian of the Fighters Guild. Power and profit to you. Wow, look, do you hear that, guys? This is respect. Do you have my dress? Really? Oh, she oh, she just changed her dress in front of me. Not bad. Follow me. Just kidding. Greater domination. Control creature or humanoid, if I can control her. Hi there. No? Jeez. Like, she's like 90% flesh skin and like 10% uh, armor, but every time I hit her, you can you can hear metal. Someone on the Steam page where I posted a video uh, with her on a the thumbnail, they said she looks like Serana. And I was like, you know what? That makes sense. She actually does. <laughs> Even though it's very basic. Ugh. Ah, you were thinking twice. You were double thinking if you should you attack me or not. A cool shirt. I'm gonna steal it. Run. <laughs> blur, blur, blur. Pirate chest. Lock level 95. Oh. Looking for a bargain. Looking for a bargain. Look at the design. Look at this. Something I'll wear in real life. Okay, I really like this area here. It looks so awesome. Uh oh. Storm Atronax. Let's dance. Let's dance. Whoa. Opa, what do we have here? 
He was trapped here and tortured and drowned. So yeah, like I was saying, some kind of a survival mode I think will fit really nice in Tamriel Rebuilt especially. Because of the, just the sheer size of the land. So imagine like you can set up a camp, you can chop tree for firewood, you know, gather ingredients, food, you can cook. And I say for mainland, for Tamriel Rebuilt especially because the, it's a giant land. So like camping and surviving in the wilderness makes more sense. You, where you're really far away from any civilization, you're truly, you feel like you're in the wilderness. This is marvelous. This is just... Oh, come on, who is ruining this moment? It's not cool. It's not cool at all. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Yep, I see the keep. I never knew the beach walk on in Morrowind would be so relaxing. This is crazy. Like this has potential to be like a pirate. Like you can make pirate, I don't know, towns, islands, ships. When every time people say, oh, I'd like to see some pirates in Morrowind, I'm like, where? They don't fit there. But now when I see this, yeah, they fit here. We need pirates here. <laughs> Some, of course, not those stereotypical pirates, uh, like in 18th, 17th century Europe or whatever. I mean, there were pirates in all cultures across all centuries, so... Some kind of like a Dunmer, Nord, pirates, Imperial even pirates. There's so much potential for that here. And I'm not even like a pirate guy. This is ridiculous, man. This is just amazing, man. I could walk 100 miles, 1000 miles like this. This is the rising sun, right? If the sun rises on the east, also like in our world. So we are looking straight towards the Akavir over there. And this fort was built to fend off like uh, the potential invasion from Akavir. Nice. It's very sublime. All right. This is my newest outfit. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Morrowind Chill. This is episode 26. Time to talk. I have a few What's your minutes. problem? Okay, you too. Just chill. Bring me a healing potion and I'll tell you the rest of my tale. Okay, this guy is really... <laughs> is really pushing there. You probably want to know how I hurt my leg first, right? No, I don't want to. <coughs> Quiet, there are enemies here. Oh, there's a... Shh, bro. There's a bone walker. There's nasty, nasty lumps of flesh, rotting flesh, held together by nails and God knows what. It just stands there. And if they hit you, they like curse you and drain your skills and attributes. You'll be good for nothing. <laughs> Lock level. People are born dumb. Like me, for instance. Why didn't you tell me there's a lock level 60 in this just tomb? Rub a little bear grease on it. You can open the lock with the bear grease. He's so dumb, he doesn't know how to open a door and, and walk through. Every time I speak about mainland and Wardenfell, I feel like it's so far away. Oh, I had to travel to Wardenfell, oh my god, it's so far away. But actually, I mean, it's all like here. I, mean, I can literally see Firewatch, the, uh, the, it's a beacon. The Grazelands are really looking beautiful. It's one of my favorite regions. Oh, these are domesticated guars. So cute. I'm just, I don't know why I'm so amazed by this. Like, there's this, this is the Ahemusa tribe camp. And there is the Firewatch. And this is only 10 cells of land generate. 
I used to play a long time ago with 30 cells, like three times the distance. I could see from here like a red mountain. I could see red mountain from uh, Vivek. Oh, this is the Shiogorit region. What a beautiful day, huh? <laughs> this is crazy. Wow. Oh my god. This is crazy. There's nothing in real life that looks like this. <laughs> you can go play Oblivion or Skyrim and you'll see all the landscapes. Kind of you can see them in real life, like their equivalents. Tundra or Forest. But there's really nothing like this in the real life. Even though there's just a bunch of trees and rocks and some architecture, nothing really that crazy except the mushrooms, the giant mushrooms. But the way it was designed and combined, it's just... No, I'm sorry, I have to stay here for a while and just enjoy here. The White Guar. <laughs> I mean, isn't this guy like one of the icons of Morrowind? Is he supposed to be like a magical creature or is he just like albino? What is he supposed to be actually? Because he was waiting for me and he showed me this woman. So he's obviously more than just an average Guar because what he did is kind of like, I don't want to say supernatural, but in a way it is supernatural. <laughs> I never made spells in Morrowind. I've really never done this. I'm a really simple guy, I just take a sword and bash skulls and that's it. Eventually use restoration, eventually levitate. And that's all, that's how far I go. Oh, look at this ugly mother. Are oh, you looking for a bargain? Oh, this guy's tr oh, what the hell? Hell set this. Spit it out or hit the road. <laughs> You can't see me now, you Delvani stupid. Grab him. Help. There is no escape. So even if I pay her 5000 gold, she still attacks me. Like nothing changes really. No, 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 no. I'm going to teleport back. So am I now like a wanted criminal er everywhere? Bounty. The pleasure is all mine. What? Okay, I really need to get rid of her. You will suffer greatly. Now stay there. Oh, the guards, uh I think she just fell down and broke her neck. And her robes accidentally like slip off her and she's just dead. This is my way of dealing with Telvani. This I like what I see. This bastard attacked me without even asking anything. Like I'm the worst criminal. Make it quick, Outlander. Make it quick, Outlander. That's the blood mage. This is the blood mage. She's glitching through Chim. She's chimming. This is the great enemy. I had more issue with the sea mud crab. It was harder for me to defeat the mud crab. Those, those rock stony sea mud crabs. Oh my god. I shall send other servants to identify the stolen dead. Good luck. <coughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Morrowind Chill. This is episode 27. Oh, this is about ancestral tombs. The people of Morrowind are intensely private about their sacred relationship with their ancestors and rarely allow outsiders into these burial chambers. Well, don't mind me if I do. I raided quite a few. And let's see this piece of rock. Kamal bone fragment. This is a fragment of a bone. This bone fragment was recovered by unknown means from the enormous skeleton of the general Ada Sum Dir Kamal. He was a general of Akaviri forces. Were they like dinosaurs or something? Oh, this is the shield of the emperor. I want it. Want to feel my muscles. 
Okay, weird flex. And this is really why I love Elder Scrolls, because there's so much lore. Look at all these scrolls. Frost Shield. I already have natural Frost Shield. I'm a Nord. Levitate 500 points. Oh my god. Oh, this is an evil scroll. Scroll of Baleful Suffering. So what this scroll does, it blinds, it burdens, demoralizes, and disintegrates your ha armor and the weapon. All at once. Pure evil. It needs to be locked in a basement. Look at those soulless black eyes of a Bosmer. Itches. Look at that. God, that itches. Scratch it. Looking for a bargain? Ready to work. Can't believe. I'm a knight errant rank in the Legion. I'm a disciple in the cult. I'm a guardian of the Fighters Guild. And I had to carry rotten, stinky Kwama eggs. We got a shipment of Kwama eggs that went bad recently. And someone still needs to clean up the mess. Well, why don't you do it? You're just standing there. You're here already. It's this raw ebony. Growl A-ball. Eyeball A-ball. It's those like troll creatures from Solsheim. Damn, what's that doing here? Who ordered a growl eyeball? Imagine you find like a human heart. You can just order a human heart. I'm a part-time necromancer. It's my hobby. Who are you, Jaxxer? Oh, she's a slave? I want to set her free. I like her shirt. Ah, oh, look at those ears. <gasps> look at that. <laughs> <coughs> She's one of those like small cat folks. I want this one. Can I have this one? May you find all that you seek, traveler. Thank you. Look at this fine gentleman. Kajit Skal. Oh, really? I'm somewhat of a collector uh, myself. Oh. Uh, that's a perfectly good explanation. I assure you. Uh. Sky is red. There will be blood. <laughs> the Nine and the Empire, citizen. Yes, yes. Sometimes I really like to just walk. Relaxing walk around the, the cities like this. It's a nice relaxing medieval life in old Ebonheart. I haven't much time, so... Be quick about this. Shut the fuck up, Antonio. An expert tomb raider and a gentleman rogue. Oh, I just love your kind. I'm a rogue, but I'm a gentleman. I get all the ladies in the town, and I'm adventurer, and I'm a very fun guy. I have stories to tell. They're all true. I never lie. I never exaggerate. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. How many tombs have you raided? One? Two? <laughs> I can assure you that I've looted. I think. Oh man. Look his face, like he's a troubled intellectual. Ooh. I should hire you and get you killed in the first tomb. I bet you couldn't take like a single bone walker. Yeah, that's what I thought. Idyllic medieval town. Life seems so simple. I think I already mentioned that. Like, one of my favorite moments in so far in this playthrough. I mean, I have so many. But uh, when it comes to Imperial Legion, I've really enjoyed like uh, those low tier quests when I was like a police officer or a guard. That was so much fun, like being a guard in the medieval town. I, I wish we had more jobs, like more quests like that. Nice. For king and emperor. That's what I like to hear. Yes. Praise Talos. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to the extra chilled episode of Morrowind Chill, episode 28, believe it or not. So you're the one who's going to find me a job. I didn't know it's so hard to find a job in Morrowind as well. There's my friend Trier. If you need a good laugh for a tall tale, you've come to the right place. Hail, my friend. Hail. So that's Amalexia probably at her peak. Is this the one about the Akavir uh, invasion? Hey, you have the same shirt like me. Crap again. Yes, Alden. What do you want? We have the same shirt. I'm not 
busy now. What do you need? Look at that waste. Oh, oh, he looks grumpy. Ooh. What up, Lander? Why do you disturb me? This guy has a naturally low disposition to everyone and everything in life. Let's try to uh, raise his disposition before we ask anything. I shall honor our friendship too. <laughs> we just met like three seconds ago. He was hating me. I shall honor our friendship. I wish I had this kind of skills in real life. You've earned my respect. <laughs> Your wounds are great. What? Anyway, I hope you understand that I can't let you live with this information. Get ready for your last fight. What? I shall honor our friendship too, but then I'm gonna kill you. Are you bipolar, man? So you guys seeing this? He attacked me first, right? You, in you see this? And this guy pretends he doesn't see anything. Look, see anything? Because not to everybody, just fights, you know. I wonder if there's any point that he's gonna give up. I think I should better stop. Scratch here. Here. Yeah, right there. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, that feels good. Scratch my back. Did that hurt? Oh, I'm so sorry. Go. Um. It should be here somewhere. Your wounds are minor compared to what you will receive if you continue to bother me. Really? Yes. You in I was walking, minding my business, minding my business, right? Haven't I? I was minding my business, right? It's a beautiful morning in Andotran. And we are most likely have to go to Arwood afterwards. Which I'm looking forward to. Let's have some fun in Arwood. It's all these like different shades of orange. Hell yeah. Da, 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 da. Oh my god. Da, 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 da. Oh my god. Hey guys, look at this place. Okay, now we have a really special opportunity. It's a clear day. We are in the middle of this cursed Ashlands. Look at this. And this nice little caravan town. It's so tight. The streets are so narrow. And they're all covered because of all the dust and ash, right? The storms are frequent. Imagine just living here. I don't know why I find it so fascinating, so like interesting. I mean, this is basically caravan town. So not many people actually stay here and live. It's mostly like passengers, travelers stopping by. I mean, ah, this, this damn fly. So annoying. And this guy here can take us to Skyrim. Let's go. You know, sometimes when you get stuck in some quest and you don't know what to do, the best thing is to just take a break. Take a break for a minute, relax, have fun. And here we are, guys. We are in Skyrim. For those who don't know about, this is a Skyrim home of the Nords which is sort of a sister project uh, with the Tamriel rebuilt. It uses the same data and all that. And of course, uh, the concept is to add the land of Skyrim to Morrowind. Looks really, really nice. Looks different from Morrowind, as it should be. And even the architecture is different. I'm ready for anything. Go ahead. These are really cool looking armor. Wow, look at that. Looks so nice. Yes, look at that, guys. Look at that. I think we made a right decision to come here to chill, to explore, to have some fun. And oh, there's a horse. It actually looks really good, you know? Oh, is this like a fast? Yes, fast travel. Dragon Star East. Oh my god, look at this. My friend. Greetings. You're a big kitty cat. Guys, look at the size of this cat. If no, much to allow. let's say Nords are like six four. This cat is like seven feet, right? 
Look at this guy. <laughs> his muscles, and man. What is your business here? You. How may Ask we help? Your question. Oh my god. I want entire Tamriel made in this gameplay with this mechanic. Imagine all the entire Tamriel, all the cultures, provinces, landscapes. This will be the ideal game, the perfect game. Look at that. Oh my god, look at that cliff over there. Wow. Oh my god, what the hell is this? What the hell? This is perfect. This is... This is perfect. This is amazing. What game is this? I'm literally speechless. This is unbelievable. Imagine entire Skyrim made like this. And that's what they're doing. They're making entire Skyrim. Oh, 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 oh god. This might be the best, the most amazing view I've ever seen so far in Morrowind. And hello everyone, welcome back to the episode 30 of Morrowind Chill. And we are here in Skyrim, in the Reach. At the end of the last episode, I finally decided to visit Skyrim. And I'm pretty sure that that structure, the building over there, is a Dwemer ruin. I'm just admiring these goats here. <laughs> so I have to deal with the warmouth, and I don't even know what is that. Wow. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's a dryad, right? Wow. I... Oh, she's not attacking me anymore. I think she had enough. <laughs> oh. oh, how nice of her. She let me heal first. What the hell? Is that a werewolf? In the middle of a day? No. What is that? What is that? Holy cow, this guy is huge. <gasps> come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. Cave troll. That's a scary looking creature. Look at that. It looks like a fist. That's a really cool banner. I don't know who they are, but I want to join. I want to join. Whoa. I can even pick up nails, man. This is ridiculous. So, a sledgehammer. It's actually a weapon, but it's very, it's very weak. In the vanilla Morrowind, there's this helmet, but I never saw the rest of the armor set. Sensa Tengai Nudri. What do you want in a temple of Diagna? Have you come to learn the ways of Diagna, Frandar Hunding, and the Hunding? Dude, I don't have an idea what you're talking about, bro. And there's always some bossmer standing on the streets. Always. Every city. Who are you? I'm a rogue. Oh, that's cute. Have you lost your ring? I totally didn't expect to see pieces of Hammerfell here. I'm really, really surprised. I feel completely lost. In a good way. Wow, look at that. I see a bear. Hello there. Black bear? Oh, you're peaceful. Good bear. Wow, look at that helmet. May I help you? Wow, look at that. That's Dragon Star. It's like a Reachman village and a ruin as well. Oh my god. 
Wow. This is the city of Dragon Star. And there's the we can see the gate or the wall separating Dragon Star East and Dragon Star West. And I'm not sure, but I believe that's some uh, political border separating Hammerfell from Skyrim. Either way, we are like if not in Hammerfell, very near Hammerfell. So the city has a well actually I think it's a part of Hammerfell because we met a crown prince, we met Hammerfell nobles. Technically, we are in Hammerfell. And uh, here are some ruins behind me. I'm gonna explore them very soon. Whole province so far, it's really nothing but amazing. So, we see the remnants of the ancient past. What looks to me like it was an advanced civilization according to these ruins. And then, in the, in the midst of these ruins, we have this modern but primitive uh, culture of the Reachmen. It's kind of ironic. Wow. Okay guys, let's, let's enjoy this atmosphere for a while. The sun rays through the trees and ancient towers. Look at all these rocks, the distant trees. So now we are oriented towards east, which means towards Skyrim. So beyond all those trees lies the land of Skyrim. What kind of tree is this? Uh, there's no info. This guy looks like he's mixed with the orcs. I greet you. Doesn't this guy look like he's half orc, half human? Like there's something very orcish about him. Look at his mouth. Yeah, he, look at the jaw. The lower jaw. This guy is half orc. Such a beautiful region, don't you guys agree? It's like a mixture of Skyrim and Hammerfell. We see pine trees, some ancient elven ruins, and then there's a dragon star over there and the beginning of Hammerfell. We also have Reachmen villages. So much mixture in this one small region i'm really enjoying this ruin it's totally different from everything i've seen in in the morrowind <gasps> there's someone here oh kalmar the unreasonable I'm ready for anything go ahead oh sorry i just i think i robbed you i didn't know you someone lives here Moving forward. I've been playing I don't know how many hours this episode already and I, I feel like I barely scratched the surface. Ooh. Yeah, this is the... I bet this is the ruin that the guy wanted me to go to. Oh, wow. That's a goblin. <gasps> oh, no. Look at this tree. What tree is this? Hmm. Wait, I see something flying there. What is that? Something is flying there. Guys, what's that? Looks like a flying stingray. What the hell? Whoa. That's a stingray. Holy cow. <gasps> what the? Snow Ray. Are you serious? 
Guys, look at this little uh, woodlet. How do you call this? Like a woodlet? This really like a dark trees. Reminds me of cypresses. Is this like a cypress tree? In case you guys didn't like figure out already, I'm a really sucker for trees and all kinds of like this world building details. Ah, oh, look at that, man. So these are not Dwemer ruins, right? They're Dirani ruins. Dirani. Were Dirani elves? God, my my lore is really rusty. I feel ashamed now. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Look at those. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, wow. Freaking amazing. Dude. Imagine how this looked like in the prime. In its full glory. It's almost like a mixture of Aelid. I can see some elements of Aelid, like a columns. And a white stone. But this is definitely not Aelid architecture. Oh, this is amazing. Oh my god. Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to episode 31 of Morrowind Chill. And I've been having so much fun and before I start, I really want to thank all of you guys for tuning in, for commenting, for watching. It really just makes this whole experience so much more fun. I really appreciate those ASMR whisperings. Ancient Dirani ASMR. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, that was a... This was a perfect, like, flawless victory. Oh, and, and those mirrors are really cool. Or uh, windows, actually. I really like this around stone tables and these chairs. Kind of look comfy. I'd imagine they'll look very good in, like, a garden, outdoor garden. Now, if I can only pick up one and take it with me. Oh, what's next? Count Dracula here. <clears throat> you see, you see the way they like uh, turn around on their on their back and their legs are up. Ah, this gives me the chills. Like those skinny long legs. Like ah. Uh. Oh, would you like to pick up the book? Yeah. This must be a special book since he's asked me if I want to pick it up. Do you want to open the latch and read the book uh, later? I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> oh. Do you try to move the console? That's a weird question though. It's more like a philosophical, like... Do you try to move the console? Well... I do try sometimes. <gasps> That's a matriarch spider. Oh, come on, man. I already found a large... He said large spider. And what kind of spider is this then? Extra large? I think he pretends to be stuck there. Once I go inside, he will attack me. Oh, it's a hag raven. That's a hag raven and she's killing me. They put a hag raven in a game. Should I read this book, Codex Remora? Let me read it. Do you want to open the latch and read the book? Yes. And imagine the book just kills me. Because I have a feeling like you're going to be like, oh, you opened the book and you read something, you read something really unnerving and you got crazy. You open the latch and peer inside the book after nearly succumbing to simultaneous feelings of wonder and dread. There you go. You now possess the knowledge of a Dirani spell, but you have lost some of your sanity. What did I just say? What did I just said, man? Oh, that goat just fell off the map. Oh, it's elk. I want to bring one to Morrowind. Those Dunmer will lose their mind, man. Onion bundle. Mmm, beef. This looks delicious. And cheese. Oh, now you're talking about honey, cheese, beef. Onions, dried aspir tea leaves. Oh, this guy lived good, man. Healthy lifestyle, too. Hail, Nord. Haven't you heard? Troublesome highwaymen roam this road. For just a small payment of, say, 100 gold, I can ensure your safe passage. Oh, how original. Ah. <sighs> 
Fort Vostangar. Really? I don't know, you tell me, my brother. Oh. You're growing weak. I know. I need more practice. Holy cow, these dudes are really into it, huh? Oh. What? Hey, chill there, bro, chill. Oh, there's two of them. Hey, boys. How does it feel? Is near. How does it feel to death is near? Oh, this is like a destroyed village from the war. Yeah, this is like a massacre here. This was a full-on massacre. Everything is burned to the ground. Look at that. No, but this is how you see through the wall building. That Oh, actually, oh yeah, there's a war. There's this violence going on. Entire settlements being massacred. That looks like a ruin. It's like dead people everywhere, man. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, more bandits. Complete wild west here. I want to dance with them. Let's get the sword. I call this dancing. Let's dance. This reminds me like a scene from a Game of Thrones or something. You see a ruined village, dead people lying around. Like these guys attack this merchant caravan. And they're sheltering here from the rain. It feels like a, I don't know, like a, I don't know why it reminds me of a Game of Thrones. Can I ride a horse? There's no, there's no mechanic for that in, in a Morrowind. Yeah, too bad. Oh, he's warming up his feet. How nice. You don't want to catch a cold. What is that? What's that? Is that Draugr? Is that Minotaur? <gasps> this is a literal demon. Cobbled. Wow. Wow. Look at that thing. Let's enjoy this ambience. Let me try something. Let's enjoy this ambience. Ah, it feels so peaceful. Look at this pile of leaves under this tree. That attention to details. We have a large tree and we see like it lacks uh, leaves. And then we have a pile of leaves underneath. I mean, I used to do this in, in real life. When I lived back in Europe, I would like go to a forest often and just walk around. Every time I had a chance. Well, even here in Hong Kong, actually, we have lots of uh, trail parks for hiking, so... But I miss kind of this ambience. Northern, I guess we call it. Maybe European. Colder environment. Feels good. And this also kind of shows us how we'll see the rest of Skyrim, like the Falkrit area. I'm really surprised. I mean, I'm really excited to see Falkrit one day. Because Falkrit is known for those like really vast pine forests. I'm excited to see Falkrit. I'm excited to see Riften with those like autumn trees. But also to see how they're gonna recreate Riften. And again, because they're recreating Skyrim as of 200 years ago, as it was described in Morrowind, times of Morrowind or prior to Morrowind. Everything that came after Morrowind, Oblivion and Skyrim, all the information afterwards is from what I understand is not used. Also they don't use any like Elder Scrolls online information. So I already heard, uh, I, I saw a comment someone wrote that uh, they're not going to implement any Dwemer Ruin in Skyrim. Which is very interesting because, as we all know, Markart is Dwemer. It's built in a Dwemer ruin. It was an ancient Dwemer city. 
but uh, I guess the mark art they're gonna build here in the reach will be more like a standard looking. In arena they they show mark art and it's not a Dwemer ruin. It's a regular town with houses and everything. The Tamriel rebuild also does the same. They are creating mainland and all this culture and lore of Morrowind as it was described and known at the time of Morrowind, the release of Morrowind. So in a way they can stay true to the game. Look at this. Look at this. This is like back to the primitive. My dude doesn't feel cold. He has, pleasure. he has that immunity to cold, you know? Watch your step, outsider. This forest is ours. I'm Horgor, hunter and footman of the bear clan. <laughs> I ask him about the Skyrim lore and he says, go find a clever man or a book. We don't do that around here. We don't have books, we don't read. We are the bears of the reach who guard the old kingdom's frontier. It does feel like a frontier. I already said that there's like a certain feeling of Wild West in this whole area. With impudence, they accuse us of being mongrel bred bandits. Bah! We take pride in our Atmoran blood. Oh, and hate the elf men who plague the Reach. So these guys here are like a hardcore 100% essence Nord. Nords to the bones. Like So they go all the way back to Atmora, to the origins. Atmora is basically Hyperborea. Elder Scrolls. <laughs> because I remember when I played Morrowind for the first time and because you read how Skyrim was described and you talk to the Nords and I would imagine Skyrim to be this wild, really wild land. Like this actually, shown here. Like this is how I imagined Skyrim before Skyrim came out. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking too much maybe right now. <laughs> yeah, these guys are hardcore. This is so cool, man. This is Frontier. So there's three of them here. Let's see inside. Do they have Do you have women here or just guys? So far, all I can see is men. This looks like a main lodge. The clan cabin. Okay, here are some ladies. Okay, I was getting worried. He's coming. What's this? Behold. Wow. B hole. And then there's an A hole. Those are my dad jokes. I promise no more dad jokes. This looks to me like a reach slowly tr uh, transforming into a Falkrit. Right? Do you guys feel that? There, we see some pine trees already. I think the Falkrit is east of reach right and then north of reach is half finger solitude oh no i'm so grateful to find an intelligent talkative spriggan so you just chill here all day i mean it's a nice view Wow, I can examine you from up close. So the... How you call this? The bark. Right? The bark. It's almost like serves as, as a dress for her. Right? It's like a dress. <laughs> All your goats belong to me now. Yeah? Oh my god, there's a hag raven. No. No, 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 no. Hag raven, hag raven, hag raven. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. She's staring into my soul. How's it going everyone? Welcome to Morrow and Chill and this is episode 32. Oh, they're coming. He's attacking me! He's attacking me? So Karthad is their home, yeah. Aren't you a sight? What can I do for you? Okay. Oh, oh, I see what's going on. Can I help you out? Do you need something? 
Uh. If I ever see that elf, he's in so much trouble. I see Prince Aldred enjoys his life. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. Wow. Oh. Is there anything better than open world, old school RPG games? I don't think so. I just rub a little bear grease on it. Be good as new. Why walk when you can levitate? Oh, there's four of you guys. Okay. Let's dance. Let's dance. Aw, this is too easy. Aw, fight coward. I hate crossbows, man. You will die where you stand. No, brother. You will die where you stand. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. Oh my god. <gasps> Three of them. No. Oh, this guy has two horns. Oh, Gilded Shield ma Manor. This place looks awesome. Th this is what I need. Come on, man. I mean, this guy lives like a Jarl. This is like fit for a Jarl. A place where no giant walks and trolls are rarely seen. A place of ancient palaces, green pasturages, in vast forest whose glory seek to compete with Sovngarde itself. For this region is nothing like the rest of our cold homeland. Here we are governors over crowds of elves, richmen, red guards, and many other people who in the past, like us, sought home in this unusually warm and fertile expanse. The reach is divided into three counties, each ruled by a Jarl, as is the tradition in all the western holds. Really nice selection of books he have here. How can I buy off this manor? I want to buy this mansion. Oi. <laughs> and this is how we deal with the petty thieves. So this over there. It... Taken a few knocks. Maybe you should get healed. Yeah, I should. I yeah, thanks for reminding me. But I've been just wondering, so is that over there a hammerfall already? Because I see a Dwemer ruin. Oh, this is a nice view. For now, there's not even a plan to work on the Hammerfell, right? So who knows when we'll have like a... We, we're gonna have the whole complete Skyrim province. It's probably gonna take years. Five, six years. We're probably gonna have Elder Scrolls by back, Elder Scrolls 6 by then. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. There is a project for Cyrodiil, which is also going very slow. I don't know how far they went. And there's, there are plans for Project Argonia. And as far as I know, the Hammerfell is not even like in the plans. So no one even started working on the Hammerfell. It's amazing what, what these guys have done. I have nothing but love for all these developers of these mods. Nothing but respect and love. I suppose I have a moment. Gilded Shield Manor, yes. Look at the size of this place, this manor. So this is the size of a Heartfire Mansion in Skyrim. The one we built for a player home. But actually even better, because it's like it's walled. Such a nice property. Like, they must, they have to include something like this for a player. But make it really expensive, like really expensive. But I really want this option to have like a manor of this size. Argonian account 3. You will 
will die where you stand. You're not even trying. You should have picked an easier opponent. <sighs> I just picked a book, people. What is wrong with all of you? See a tavern. I need a tavern. Shadow Key Tavern. Wow. What's this guy doing? Wow, what a cheerful, lovely place. Sarah? Hello there. I'm a lovable rogue. A silver tongued devil. Aren't you? I'm in the Shadow Key. Yeah, this is obviously like a Thieves Guild then, right? Oh, you're so in a Thieves Guild. So what's this about? You know what I can tell? I can tell by your earrings that you're a thief. That you're a rogue. I don't do anything of interest. You're a rogue, right? I trade coin for beer. What brings you here? Short blade, sneak, and acrobatics. You are a rogue, my dear. Just embrace it. Don't hide it. Just embrace it. It's fine. Why is everyone staring down? Good hunting. I think she's like one of those called Ochme Khajiit or something like that. The the more human ones. Oh, there's something down there. Look at that. Look, everyone is staring down. What are you, what are you doing? What are these guys watching at downstairs? What's downstairs? Oh! <laughs> this is a tall Khajiit. Urjira does a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Oh, Urjira follows the trade of courtesan. Courtesan? Isn't that like a fancy word for uh, something else? I am a courtesan. I provide entertainment and companionship to those who can appreciate and afford my many talents. Mm -hmm. This is why everyone is staring down. Okay, I'm gonna slowly withdraw myself. This is why they're all staring down. They're all staring at this Khajiit courtesan. Salutations, traveler. I'm Sharga Grobek. Orsinium borders Redgar territory to the south, beyond the Bjolsai River. Okay, so just a second. I already talked so much about the complex political situation, how there's Skyrim, Nords, Redguards, Hammerfell, Bretons, High Rock, Reachmen. And now I forgot. I think Orsinium is also kind of close here with the orcs and they have their own like independent political agenda as well. Luk Lakush Gro Nagor was slain in a treacherous night raid by warriors of the fanatical Redguard cult of Diagna. Lakush's remains were brought to Dragonstar and are being held in the Temple of Diagna. In the last episode I saw a orc skull in the Temple of Diagna. Give me the skull. Could I buy the skull from the temple? Or I will fight for the skull if I must. Well, these are red guards. I think they more appreciate fight, right? If I say, can I buy it? Maybe they'll be like offended. So this could be a trick question. Uh, let me see if I can buy. Let me try it peaceful way. Gods do not deal in drakes. Do not cheapen the honor. Yeah, I thought so. I will fight for a skull. Yeah, I was the right the first time. Igatal stands vigil at his altar. Duel him now for the honor of your cause. <laughs> This is awesome. This guy? A hallowed moment approaches, Garrick White Hands. Your strength against my at stake. The honor of a god. Prepare yourself, blood will run beside the altar this day. Did they literally have to kill someone for the skull? A Dementium Saber. It's finished. Now hand over the skull before I kill you too. And everyone else. And uh can I take this saber? I mean, I I defeated him in a duel. I think it belongs to me now. Right. 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 
You will be welcomed with honor at His Majesty's High Court. Being welcome in Arsenium, that's an honor, man. Oh, whoa, look at the sword.